How's it going, you hooligans? I'm gonna try my best to light up your Tuesday afternoon. I am lit up like a little Christmas tree because it is very dark outside and, well, I have the light. And because I'm also wearing a Dale Earnhardt shirt and he just, you know, he brightens your day all the time. Welcome to the season finale, season two finale of NASCAR Thunder 2003 career. Uh, mostly for us, it's gonna be quite boring. I mean, we're gonna go to three tracks that we're not very good at. So yeah, I, I don't expect anything from us. I'm not expecting to get paid at all. You know, so I, I think the bank will probably diminish by a good amount, probably around the six million mark, eh, 6.5 million mark, because I'm not expecting uh, to earn anything. I'm not expecting top tens. I'm not expecting any of that. Uh, I think we're going to struggle at, I mean, North, North Carolina, I feel like sometimes the Rock should be a better race track for us, but it isn't. Phoenix is, uh, no, and Homestead is, might, might be one of our worst tracks. So yeah, it is not going to be a good end to the season. But for today, what really matters here is the, uh, the stats and the info in the standings. We are ninth in the standings. I'd like to keep the top 10. We have a, about an 80 point gap to Ryan Newman. Actually, we have a lot, well, almost 200 point gap to Jimmy Johnson. So as long as we don't DNF three times in a row, we should be fine. But the real battle is Jeff Gordon versus Mark Martin for the championship. Brings me back to the days of 97, 98, where Mark Martin really did enough to win championships, but Gordon was, uh, yeah, probably the best of all time at that time, right? No, at that point, so, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's tough for, for Mark. I'm, in a weird way, I am rooting for Mr. Martin, but I am a Gordon guy. But I want to see Mark win a championship. I will not get involved unless one of these two do something stupid to me. I'm not involved. I, you know, I'm just going to try and run my own race. That's what we do. Uh, and we'll let them have their own fight for the championship. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon supporters for all this, always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much. As always, uh, team management. There was one thing I was thinking about, guys. So R&D, we've set this up really well. R&D, it's going to finish at the end of the season. Uh, we have a new chassis coming in that will finish uh, at the end of, well, two races left in the season. So that will be coming in next race time. Uh, and then we have for the engines, I was thinking about making another engine for the sole reason of, you can see, we don't really have one that's full power. I mean, it's just one minus one on the power, but we have a lot of money and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just build, I mean, there is no upgrade here, but essentially what I'm going to do actually... No, it doesn't, it doesn't, man. Eh. You know what, let's not be cheap. Who cares? Why not? Just, just make the engine. Essentially, what I wanted to do was just to make sure, you know, we have four engines, and, and hopefully by next season, when the, the, the fabricators and the builders get upgraded, uh, we can get a little bit better engine upgrade. But I do think we might have to start thinking about doing another engine upgrade. So we have tire wear that is being done right now, and then we can do tire grip, or we could do engine power number three, so, uh, yeah, we, I don't really know exactly what we're going to do there yet, but uh, we'll, we'll see towards next season. 8.5 million or 8.15 projected total. We're not going to get that. We have six races left with the Aaron sponsorship. So we're going to have essentially two, uh, the rest of this season. And then the, the Daytona 500 is going to be its own video. And then the two races after that. And then we'll have you guys vote for the new sponsor. I don't know what it's going to be. We have to wait and see uh, as you guys know the drill. Let's get to it. It's a five point gap, guys. Five points between Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon. Remember, you lead a you you get five bonus points for leading a lap. You get five bonus points for leading the most laps. That will be very important as well. So uh and honestly, I'm expecting Mark Martin to win the championship. I think he is naturally a little bit quicker than Gordon when it comes to raw speed, but you know how this game is, it's gonna be a little bit crazy for uh, for the rest of this uh the rest of this time. Let's see what happens. I thought I ran a really bad lap on lap one, and it ended up being pole. It was so bad that I wasn't happy that I got pole, so I'm running lap number two, and that was a terrible lap two. Oh my god. Okay, so we, I'm making terrible mistakes, and yet the car is still fast enough to get pole position. A 23.406. Yeah, that second lap was worse than the first lap. Uh, it was faster in the time, but only because we had more straight line speed coming in. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I have the car set up to where it's actually, I'm trying to get it to be loose because we always have this issue at the track of being tight. So I'm like minus three on the wedge. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, let's go to the race. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the rock side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400 right here on MRN. Drivers say this place can be one difficult track to master. Well, this track is deceiving to drivers who are new here. It's wide and fast in most places, but in the corners, they'll have to slow up more than they expect. Otherwise, the wall will sneak up and bite them on the exit, especially in turn two. The 99 car has a remarkable qualifying average this year. Yeah, and I bet he's very thankful he always gets to start up front. It's usually a lot easier to stay out of trouble that way. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. Ricky Rudd is in the top five in points so far this season. He just needs to keep digging like he has been. Sometimes when drivers reach the top five in points, they start to push themselves too hard on race day and wind up losing spots instead. I'm sure he doesn't want that. Okay, Dale Jarrett's on the front row with us, so we're not going to get paid because he's going to get around us. Jeff Gordon's right behind us. Mark Martin, I think, is in seventh. Am I right? Nope. Like ninth? He's like he's like within the top ten. He's, he's right. You know, he, he's not that far back. All right, green flag is out. Dale Jarrett, I need to keep you back as, you know, just in case I am able to get a top ten somehow. Got to keep Dale Jarrett back. Jeff Gordon doing what he has to do with his five-point lead over Mark Martin. He is in second place, and if he gets around us, he will get the bonus points. I'm going to try my best to not let him get around. Not because I want Mark Martin to win championship, but because I have to do my own thing. I got to race for my team. I'm not allowed to let anyone by, especially Dale Jarrett. That's just It's just like in the rule book, in the contract, that you can't do it. Oh, boy. Sliding up the track a little bit. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Not trying to make too much contact. There we go. Stay back. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, this is going to be very difficult. Oh, boy. All right, stay back. And it's it's gonna be staying on the bottom. Oh my god, I have my car set up so weird that it's, it's loose down the straights. But it still goes up the track in, in one and two. No, Gordon! No, no, I, I. oh, yo, yo. I don't know how I got him back, but I got him back. Oh, and Mark Martin's side by side with him right now. Ooh, he's not gonna be very happy with me. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to defend the lead, Jeff. I'm, I apologize. You know, I, I don't want to get involved, but you know, racing for the lead, I kind of got to get involved. All right, stay on the bottom. No, why does the car do that? What the hell? Jesus, I'm backing off earlier than... Oh my god, this stupid track and stupid one and two. I swear to god. <sighs> stupid... Oh my... Turn, you piece of sh... <sighs> Such a stupid track and a stupid car. No matter what springs you use, no matter what setup you use, no matter what wedge you use, spend goddamn half an hour working on this stupid car and it doesn't want to turn to the stupid center of the corner because of a stupid bump. Jesus Christ, no wonder why this track is extinct. Hope they bulldoze it to the ground. Anyways, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, now we're fifth. Not going to get paid because Dale Jarrett's in the lead because my car doesn't want to turn in one and two. Uh, no matter how much I back up the corner. Uh, yeah, okay, well, th this is going to be a very frustrating season finale, isn't it? Every time we get to these tracks, I'm just going to suck over and over and over because all these tracks for us just absolutely are, are terrible. I mean, we can't... We suck at all three of them. So, like, I, I'm, how am I going to keep my cool during this entire video? I have no idea. And I have to do an extra race, which means this video is going to be even longer. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind if this thing doesn't turn. Johnny Benson, get the hell out of the way. Stop. No, you stay back. No, Tony, you stay back, too. I'm not in the mood. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to use this. I'm going to calm myself. We calm everyone tell me to stay calm tell me to stop being a little idiot uh calm and use this as practice for next season if we're gonna win a championship these final three races are gonna be very important and we're gonna have to survive them okay and, and new hampshire as well i gotta survive these things if we are going to be a championship winning team we can't have meltdowns this is that simple we cannot have meltdowns so i must stay calm i must fight for my my uh, position right here and not get angry that's what I'm going to do. All right, car. Turn, turn, turn. God damn it. Turn, please. Nope. You're not going anywhere. No. No. 
You stay. No, no. Oh, oh boy. No. All right. Wait, please. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Ooh, yo, 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 yo. I am a human roadblock. You guys are not going anywhere. No. 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 You got. I have damage on my car. I got left rear damage, left front damage, right side damage. Ugh. Meanwhile, Gordon. Uh, actually, no. Dale, Jarrett Jr., Gordon, and Mark Martin are all pulling away. Gordon is running third. Mark Martin is running fourth. Oh, boy. Can Mark get to the lead? Gordon did not lead five bonus points or a lot. So he did not get five bonus points, remember. So technically, right now, the point lead would either be, what, nine or ten points if it stays the same. Pit stops are going to be crucial for those two while I continue and try to. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at it. It just goes. No matter what I do, it just goes straight up the track because of the stupid bump. Oh, just. Yeah. Bulldoze the track. Oh, yay, we're going up the track again. Beautiful scenes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I shop at Lowe's. Blech. All right, move out of the way. Eh, come on, Ryan Newman. What you got for me? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just wall you. All right. No. In the wall. No. We shop at home uh, at Lowe's, not Home Depot. Okay. A little bit of a break. Let's keep going. Gordon has pitted. I looked at the mini map, and that is Jeff Gordon coming down pit road. And you. So Gordon's going to take the strategy of the short pit. Mark Martin's going a little bit longer. I need to go a little bit longer because we need to make it on fuel. We're only 4.3 to the good at the moment. Only 18 laps in. And my tire's already red. And I'm going to try to take the strategy that we took at Atlanta that got us out of this somehow. I'm going to hope for a caution. If it doesn't come out, then, I don't know, hope that we get a clean pit road. It looks like Tony Stewart's coming in this time by. Is he? Uh, he looked like he took a line, that is. All right, there goes Tony Stewart. There goes Ryan Newman. There go some of those guys. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit longer. Wait for the pit road to kind of just, you know, calm down a little bit. And then see where we finish. Honestly, if we got a top 15, I'll be absolutely amazed. I'm, I'm not, ex you know, I'm just not. Look, look how busy pit road is. My God, almost everyone's on pit road. Wow. All right, so, yeah, we got to wait another lap. Yeah, I know. I, be, I know. Look, look at the pit road, all right? I'm not going down there. There's, like, the whole, like, 80% of the field in pit, pit, pit road at the moment, so I, I gotta stay out. Ooh, Dale Jarrett's right behind me. I'm gonna stay out one more lap just to hold up Dale Jarrett. <laughs> Is there any way, anything I could do to just, you know, maybe get a caution right now? I could wreck him on purpose, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, just keep Dale Jarrett behind. Nope, can't even, can't, nope, can't do it. Can't do it, because I cannot make the corner. Eh, stay behind me, Jimmy Johnson. Alright, we got pit this time. Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. Only .8 left in fuel. Andretti, get the hell out of my way. Uh, or Fittipaldi or whoever the heck is in that 43. It's, in, it's Andretti, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, Jimmy, you're not beating me on pit road. No. I am... No! Don't forget the pit speed. God damn it, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I thought Jimmy was going to catapult me and I sped on... Oh, just chalk it. So please, pit crew, get your mistake out of the way. Get... Just... Please, uh, just give me a 25 second pit stop. No, oh, I'm so bad. Oh, and they gave me a good pit stop too. They gave me a 15-3. Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna die. I don't wanna be alive. I just wanna die today. Screw you, Johnny Benson. Well, at least I'm fast enough to pass Greg Biffle. You know, I remember when Greg Biffle was, uh, was our backmarker teammate back in the day but now at least we are still fast enough to pass him and uh we're gonna get lapped here who's the leader dale earnhardt jr is the leader dale jarrett mark martin is in front of gordon now and uh well this race went to to s-h-i-t real quick all right you hooligans we got the leader behind us i'm gonna need you to get out of the way get shoot shoot yeah uh, uh that's not good nope nope not good not good at all okay. Hi, Dale. How you doing? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Junior? Uh, listen, I need to stay in the lead lap just in case, you know, my team requires me to give my 100% effort. So I need you to stay back there. Uh, and please, you, you have a, a, a large lead. There's no one behind you. So please just uh, don't put me a lap down while I try to maneuver my way through this field. Uh, Ward Burton, that is a stellar paint scheme. That's looking very nice. You're taking inspiration from, uh, from the 24 team there with the flames. But hey, it's, it's looking good. All right, but I'm going to need you to... Uh, Get out of the way, please. And Junior, don't pass me. Junior, 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 Junior. No, no. I don't want to take. I don't, don't want to like wreck you or anything. But I need to stay on the lead lap. All right, you guys, get get out of the way, please. Johnny Benson, just move up the track. No, Junior, 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 Junior. Stay. No, 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 Junior. Yeah. I could have. I could have just hit him, but uh, you know he's the leader, and I don't want to be disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Well. 
And chalk this race. We move on to Phoenix, lads. We move on to Phoenix. Oh, thank God that's over with. Okay, race number one of three that I'm going to be very, very sad is now done. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins. Mark Martin is going to finish second. He's right behind us right there. I don't see Gordon. I do not see Gordon. So, Gordon back there? I think I see him. Fourth? Yes. Okay, so that means neither of them led a lap to my knowledge. So, Mark Martin takes the lead, I think. All right, let's go check the standings. Da, 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 da. We're still in ninth, people scenes. Uh, yes, all right, they just switched, you know, two positions. Uh, Ten points total. Mark Martin now has a five-point lead over Jeff Gordon, so that will continue on. Uh, let's go team management, check some stuff. Sponsor news went down by one. Yeah, whatever. Garage news, new chassis completed. Chassis number nine, overhaul completed. Engine number 11, repairs completed. So, for... Uh, Phoenix, we're going to try and take the best car possible. We're going to take a uh, number 11 over here and we're going to take chassis number 12, which is again, a very, very good chassis here. We've got chassis number nine has been overhauled. So that's also really, it's like one less, you know, compared to 12, but that's also very good. Uh, let's accept changes to that and then go back, go to the chassis. We're going to go ahead and repair chassis number 11. Please, thank you very much for $179,000. Have that ready for next season. Repair engine number 10. Have this ready for next season as well. That's probably going to be the engine that we use for the Daytona 500. So hopefully that uh, car will be good to go. Change car, car number 572 overall. Okay, if I can't do anything at Phoenix with a 72 overall car, then we're just, uh, we're just not very good. It's simple as. Okay, Mark Martin now has a five-point lead over Jeff Gordon. Again, I did not get involved in that race. I'm just trying to mind my own business. Phoenix, another track that's flat that we suck at. Uh, this is... Why do the final three races have to be like this? Why? Why? Oh, this is miserable. All right, I don't want to get too excited, but practice and qualifying... This car has felt really, really good. I mean, it is. I, I, we got a brand new chassis, and every, you know what? Martin's with a brand new chassis. 26.5 pole. Oh my God! Look who's behind us. Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon. They just can't get away from each other. Lord have mercy. All right. Uh, I don't want to get involved, man. Damn it. Ah. Uh, why do I have to be involved in the championship battle right now? I don't want to. I want them to fight it out themselves. Oh God. Oh uh, well. We're really good in qualifying. Will it carry through the race? Let's see. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. Barney, this is quite a unique track. Tell us about it. Boy, it's beautiful here, right at the base of the Australia Mountains, and this is quite an interesting racetrack. First, it's known as the world's fastest one mile oval. Add to that the fact that each corner is slightly different, and it all adds up to some great racing. The 99 car has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking I miss you criticizing us, MRN. It's kind of sad, actually. You just some more points this keep week. saying the we'll same things. You know. The Haviland Ford seems to always really? finish in the top 10. MRN, well, are we not going to talk about points. the two championship contenders that are running second or starting second and third at the moment? We're not going to talk about them. Heck, you could win the are you serious? Oh, Lord have mercy, MRN. I can't believe you people. Jimmy Spencer. No, but we're going to talk about Jimmy Spencer. Okay. Okay. We shop at Walmart, not Target. Oh, Lord have mercy. But then again, Walmart's, you know, yeah. Stan Kroenke, who owns my favorite football club, his wife is co-owner of Walmart. So never mind. We shop at Publix and or Target and or what else? Where else do we shop? You know, we shop at Kmart. Yeah, that's where we shop. We don't shop at these other places. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. I just want to run my race. Oh no, I'm sorry. If I sideswipe either one of you, I apologize, okay? I'm just trying to do the best for my team. That's all I'm trying to do. Let's see what kind of speed we got here. Mark, do not try and pass me on the outside. There is a little wall that sticks out there coming out of turn two. I will put you in it if you try it. Okay, we got the two championship contenders right behind us. They desperately want to lead a lap because that will get them into the points lead literally if, if gordon leads one lap he goes to the points lead all right mark martin falling back gordon is on the bottom lane and i got to see how low is he gonna go i got a block of that you don't slide the car early in the run as well we gotta make sure gotta keep the tires on this thing okay guys 
Just uh, give me. Oh, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, you guys are putting me in a tough situation, man. I'm just trying to win the race, and you guys are. Ah, oh, God. I feel guilty. It's, no, you are not going anywhere either. Stop. Stop going. How low do you want to go? No. You just drove yourself into the inside wall. You two are stupid. You guys are battling for a championship? Oh, God, have mercy on my soul. What is going on? Oh, no! I can't believe I... No. No. Oh, my God. Did I really just do that? Oh, I'm so dumb. That was on lap four. I'm so dumb. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Dale Jarrett, get out of the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my... What is wrong with me? I was in the lead. Oh, dear Lord. Just shut... I am... I am... I'm not winning a championship in this form. I am shocked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am terrible. Wow. Okay. Okay. Come down pit road. The reason why I gotta come down pit road, guys, is because I slid the tires. So, like, if I stay out, it's just gonna suck. So, I don't really have a choice. I have to give up the track position. And, uh, we'll figure out the strategy from here on out. Um, wow, I am horrible. We are now in 43rd. Oh, boy. Okay, so we lost all our track position. We were leading the race, and we were not really technically under pressure. So, do we have enough speed in this car? Yes. Is it hard to pass at this track? Absolutely. So, I don't really know how I'm going to be able to get my way back up towards the front. We're just going to have to use some pit strategy. So we, we got, we're on lap. Oh, Jesus. No, I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Guys, you go higher up the track, you idiots. Um, eh. yeah. Eh, mm. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be tough. All right. Just methodically move our way towards the front. Don't use up the tires because these tires have to go a long way if we want to figure out a, uh, a strategy to use. So nice and easy. Okay. No, don't slide the tires. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Come on. All right. Come on, Cheryl King. Get out of my way. Three wide bottom. Three wide bottom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Nice and easy into the corner. Ooh. Uh, oh, all right. Someone's going to have to give up here. We don't got a lot of room coming out of this corner. Okay. We're, we're all, we're all going to make it. There we go. Okay. Up into 34th. This is good. This is good. All right. Now we're going to dive bomb three. There we go. There we go. That That's going to be my main passing point is entering three. We can drive it in really deep. And it sticks. Okay. Into 31st. This is beautiful scenes. We can still make something out of this. We can still do it, lads. All right. Nah, ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Wait for three and four again. This, that's our strength. Okay, good. The car's turned. The car is handling really well, actually, for a flat racetrack. The car is handling extremely well. Oh, oh, yo, yo. Into the curb. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just had a really big aggressive there. Hello, Ken Trader. You have a very interesting paint scheme. Half and half. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait, half of Ken Trader's paint scheme is Valvoline. What is going on there? Okay, well, Ken Schrader has a little bit of a glitch in the paint scheme. Uh, half of his car is a Valvoline car, but whatever. We move. Uh, okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy, guys. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you might need to get... I don't think that's legal, Mr. Schrader, to run half Valvoline, half M&Ms. They kind of don't go together. You can't really drink Valvoline with M&Ms unless you want to kill yourself. I mean, yeah, it's not an ideal thing to do. Dive bomb again. All right, into 18th. A few cars pitted, but technically we're kind of like running 20th right now. And, all right, there we go. Okay, so we got up to around 20th before green flag stops, which is good. Now, if we want to get in the top 10, I, actually, I don't even know where Dale Jarrett is. That's another problem. Yeah, we're not going to get paid this race either. But let's just try to get the best result possible for the, for the sponsor prestige and to keep our top 10 in points. That would be very nice. All right, Sterling Marlin, Schrader. Wait, what is it? Wait, what? This is straight. Huh? Then what was the other car? Was the other car Johnny Benson? Wait, no. Wait, what? But no, Johnny Benson's up there. Wait, then who's that car? Oh, no, I'm lost now. Okay, are there two Ken Schrader cars? Are there two 36 cars? Oh, well, okay, whatever. We move. We're not going to ask any questions at the moment. We still have to, a race to do here. Lap 16 of 31, 10.5 on fuel. Tires are still good. Car still feels good. We're going to extend this as long as we can. And then probably take fuel only. And we'll see where we end up from there. Oh, no, don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that thing comes up quick. Okay, that comes up quick. Our, my right rear is destroyed. We keep moving. It's all right. Okay, this no tire thing is not going to work. It, it, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm already sliding. Oh, I've completely screwed it. Where could we have finished if we had a... Uh, 
If I didn't screw up. God damn it. I'm so dumb. Lord have mercy. Alright, what are we gonna do now? I mean, I can't run another 11 laps on these tires. I will wreck, so... <sighs> do we just take our four tires and accept the punishment? I mean, is that really what we should do? Because I, I don't... I don't see a way back from this. Yeah, I can't drive the car. No, no, it's gone. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, we're going to come down pit road this time by. Box, box, Lewis. You screwed up earlier, so we're stuck in a predicament. Box, box, box. God damn it. <sighs> All right, here we come. Come on. Box, box, box. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Sliding down pit road. Ah, do what you want, pit crew. I want this season to end, man. Oh, my God. I just want it to end. And we have... Oh, we got Homestead next year. Why is it when I got to do three races, we have Homestead at the end to make me feel so good about it? Oh, Lord have mercy. Just shock me. Picker, I will admit, you guys have been fantastic. The last, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, why did I even say anything? Can we just get, get me out in 20 seconds, please? Thank you. 18.7. Great job, guys. Great job. Jeez. Oh, boy. All right. Kevin Harvick is the leader. I'm trying to get around him. Come on, Kevin. Let me through. Ooh, you, you. Nope. And instead, I hit the inside wall because I'm an idiot. Wow. Wow. Just chalk me and call me. Washed up. Because <laughs> that is what I am. I'll try to find the right words. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Just. All right. We'll, we'll go to Homestead now. Yay. Another race. Another. I, I did say we weren't going to get picked. Oh, what? Okay. Never mind. Kevin Harvick pitted. All right. See you later. We're in 29. You know, the fact that we, we drove back up almost to the top 20. Makes me think this really actually isn't that bad of a track for us. Because if we didn't make the mistake at the beginning, I think we, I think we would have been in pretty good shape. The tire wear is a little bit worrying. It does get a little bit loose towards the end, but I don't think we're that bad. I mean, yeah, it was... Maybe, maybe Phoenix isn't all that bad. You know, we bring a little bit better car and a little bit improved tire wear. Remember, that's coming in the R&D. Then, uh, yeah, I mean, it had good grip at the beginning of the race. So, uh... Well, I thought the race was over right there, but uh, whoever the winner is, congratulations. Uh, it is Kevin Hart. My God, Gordon and Martin are running second and third. Okay, so that means they would be tied heading in? It depends on if one of them led a lap. We'll see. If, if, if anyone led a lap or something, then uh, they'll have the advantage. But as it stands, we might have a tie heading into Homestead. The fact that this is actually happening or happening organically we've had nothing to do with it i mean i we really we've not been involved in this it's pretty amazing all right so another terrible finish well not terrible yeah you know kind of terrible for us gordon and mark martin second at their wow <laughs> i'm telling you qualifying at homestead is going to be vitally important for those two lord have mercy okay the final race of the season standing standing standings is it a tie no it's not which means gordon let a lap yeah he, he let a lap because he was five points behind so Gordon has a five point advantage over Mark Martin. So essentially two races ago, you know, as we started this video, this is what the point standings were. Two races later, and here we are in the same exact situation. <laughs> we have Gordon versus Mark Martin. Oh boy. I don't know who I'm rooting for. I just, it, it's, it's, it's painting me. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, spot, package sponsor is unhappy. You're 49 happiness. Are you serious? Seriously? Screw off, Aaron's. We're doing the best we can for you. Um, okay, so what do we take? All right, we have to think about Daytona. Uh, do we have a chassis and engine being repaired? Yes, engine or chassis repair. Engine repair and new engine uh, coming, so that will be done for Daytona, which means let's just make the best car possible for Homestead, which we're going to absolutely suck. Uh, let's take engine number nine, chassis number... What are we going to take? Chassis number nine? All right? Yeah, nine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take that to Homestead. Uh, did I choose the right car? No, I did not change car. Car number six. There we go. Wait, no, this is, is this the right car? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Uh, do I have to repair anything? Wait, no, back. Engine. No. Jesus Christ. Chassis. No. Engine. No. Okay, we don't got to do anything. So we'll have everything ready for next season uh, while our sponsor is unhappy. Okay, so we're going to suck at this race. All right, so let's not focus on what we're doing. We're going to watch... This happened last season. Dale and her Jr. and Dale Jarrett. I think we're separated by five points. Dale Jarrett ended up winning the championship. Um, Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin separated by five points. Who will win the championship? Let's see. Is lap one good enough for pole? I want a new pole streak. I'm trying to keep it going. 
No, it's not. We're in second. Okay, that means we gotta get one tenth on lap number two. E I hate this track so much. Oh my god. I can't believe my home track was once like this. This is a terrible racetrack. Lord have mercy. Oh, NASCAR Thunder 2004 has the better version. Because, uh, th wow, this is a bad racetrack. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and just get this thing to turn. I know I said this last time we were here, but just imagine modern day dirty air at this track. Oh, God, have mercy. That would be terrible. Pull, pull, pull. We got it. 30, 35 flat. All right, that's good enough. Whew. All right, keeping the pole. Uh, if someone keeps track of the pole streak, whatever we're at, I'm trying to keep this going. Well, actually, next season, we really want to get the, you know, I want to win pole for every single race. All right, championship battle. Will MRN talk about it? Probably not, but let's see. Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Homestead 400. Barney, with this being a fairly new racetrack, these drivers don't have the notes to look back on like they do at other racetracks. What do you think we'll see in this one? Well, these flat, wide tracks don't allow for much passing. The problem is that the corners have so little banking that these cars never can really gain any speed or momentum to make a pass. Running out front is where you want to be all race long if you can. The 99 car has really focused in on his qualifying. Oh runs my this God! Year. We have the Man spinning camera at Homestead. Like oh, you're gonna make me throw up. Oh God! Stop! 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 Oh, I can't! I can't do this! I can't do this! I can't do this! Guys, my head! My head! My head! Please stop! Please stop! Stop turning! Stop turning! You're hurting my head! You're hurting my head! Oh! I'm gonna vomit. Someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list, of course. None of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Honest to God, I have no idea who's next to me. I've never seen that car in my life. It's some sort of, it's, it's M. Brown, whoever the heck that is. All right, well, you did a great qualifying. I've never seen you before, so good job. Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon, where in the hell are you guys? Uh, I see Mark Martin. He's back there. He's like 19th. Where's Gordon? Is he... He's, he's behind Mark Martin. I think he's he's like a, ro a two rows behind Mark Martin. I'm pretty sure. Yes, he is. He Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Gordon is two rows behind Mark Martin. So essentially, he's four spots behind. So who's going to get through traffic better is going to determine who wins this championship. It's Mark Martin starting like in 19th and Gordon starting in 23rd. And uh, those two are going to have some fun. Meanwhile, I know we're on pole, guys, but this is not going to... We know the deal. It's a flat racetrack. This is going to suck massively. So... Uh, let's just hope and pray to God that something good happens. Oh, God. Yep. No, yo, yo, yo. All right. We got fantasy cars going around us on the outside on lap one. That is sad. Oh, and I'm already sliding up the track. Oh, yo, 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 yo. oh okay. That's actually going to help. Oh, oh, that's not going to help. He's flipping. That's a caution. Okay. Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon might be in that. So what has happened here? We're flipping. We're flipping. We're flipping. We're flipping. Gordon gets around it. I don't. I didn't see Mark. I did not see Mark Martin. Did he get around that? Is that him right there? Yes, it is. Mark got through clean. Okay. Okay. So Gordon had to like skip, skippity doo dah around, but Mark got around clean. And uh, now let's see where they are running. Mark Martin is in ninth. He had a five-point deficit. Jeff Gordon is in fifteenth, which means Gordon would have to make up the spots. Oh boy. This is going to go right down to the wire. Uh, by the way, I don't think Mr. Brown is very happy with me. Uh, probably very ecstatic about his first ever front row start, only to then be leveled and flipped on the front stretch after lap one. Uh, very sad. Jimmy Spencer, please don't take the lead from me. Please, 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 please. Thank you. I'm going to try and fight as much as I can. We are on lap five. So luckily, you know, we cut the race shorter a little bit, which is going to help us. Trust me. Okay. Nice and easy. Beautiful. All right, who's coming to the outside? Oh, eh, eh, eh. No, you are not allowed to go anywhere. No, stay back. Oh, we have another caution. That's a good thing. Another caution. Okay. Uh, that. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. We have to race back to the line. I just let Tony stir around. I'm trying to think. 
There's Mark Martin. Mark Martin is right there, lads. He is in the championship lead at the moment. But I'm trying to think, should we come down pit road and try to play a strategy game? Because when we restart, we're going to be restarting around lap 10. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't turn. Yikes, have mercy. Okay. Is the track position really worth it, or do we play the strategy game? Oh, boy. I do not know. What happened on this, uh, on this yellow, first of all? It is Mr. Brown. Yikes. Um, yeah, that's not good. Did, did they cause a wreck or something? I think it cut down, I think it cut down Bobby Labonte's tire. No, it cut down someone's tire. It was Nadu that, oh, it cut down Jerry Nadu's tire. Wow. Very interesting. Okay, this is, wait, this is a big strategy call. Okay, hold on. Uh. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I, I stayed out. I stayed out. Yeah. Uh, is that the, uh, that might be the wrong move. We could have maybe. Nah, I need to keep track position. All right, get Tony Stewart back, get back in the lead. Oh, that held up Mark Martin. Oops, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, 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 Jimmy, no. Damn it, okay. <sighs> All right, we, we, we've gotten lucky. We have two cautions so far. So the race has been cut short dramatically, and now we have a situation where, can I get past Jimmy? Come on, you, ah, uh, sorry, Jimmy. Got, oh, wow, he kept it straight. Okay, wait, get back here. Come on, come on, come on, car, yes. Yes, we're still in the lead. Let's go. Okay. Oh, pit stops are starting. Okay. All right. Yeah, I probably should have pitted then. Damn it. Junior, please. Please, Junior. I like being in the lead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get into him. Yes. I will not be passed. This is my home track. I got, you know, it might be one of our worst tracks, but it is my home track. We are still in first lap 14. I'm thinking pit strategy. We're thinking here. We, what if, guys? What if? We still have eight gallons of fuel left. Carry this on a little bit longer. Try to stay in front of these guys. Take right side tires only. What, what, what do you guys think? Wait, why is my left front tire wearing at first? I, I, do you think that might work? I mean, left front tire just got worn. We still got 12 laps. I think the left front tire will be fine. It'll be red, but I think it will be fine. Uh, or do we take four tires? You know, that's that's a very interesting call that we might have to decide there. You, Sorry, Tony. But at the moment, if I can continue just driving into them coming off the corner, then I think we are okay. I'm really just trying to get a top 10 finish at the moment. So if we want to get a top 10 finish, probably the ideal move would maybe take four tires. But again, none of us, no one's pitted yet. We all are, are able to extend the fuel gap because of uh, the race situation with the cautions. So right now we're still, in... no, guys are coming down pit road. Coming down pit road. There goes Dale Jarrett. He's going down the little entry. Oh, oh, Junior, 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 you are bouncing up and down like Eddie... Whoa, whoa, whoa. They can go like that down pit road? Oh, I, we, I have to take two tires. If they can do that coming down pit road, guys, I got to take two tires. Like, Dale Jarrett just passed me doing that. Wow, okay. Um, low on fuel. I think, I think our only shot, really, is to take two tires. Yeah, tires worn. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I do not know what to do. Dale Jr. is coming down pit road. There goes Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon was not that far behind Mark Martin. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Look at look at that. Look at how they're able to come down pit road. That is incredible. All right, yeah, we're going to lose time on the, the pit stops just just based off that. All right, so I'm going to keep carrying on a little bit, try to hold these guys up a little bit more, and then we're going to take two tires. I know that's probably a really stupid thing to do, but I think it's the only shot. It's the only shot for us to finish. The, if we're trying to finish in the top ten, simple as we got to keep track position. That's the only that's the only shot that we're going to have here. So. Will Mark Martin come down pit road? This is for the championship, buddy. No, Mark Martin's not pitting yet. Oh, no, don't hit me, please. Yikes. Mark, the, oi, 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 oi. Oi, this is... Mark, I'm sorry. I don't want to cost you a championship, my friend. But listen, you... Okay, wow, my car just went straight. Okay, maybe that was God's way of saying, please let Mark Martin through, because my car literally went straight. Okay, 2.8 on fuel. All right, let's keep going. Here comes the other cars. Is pit road kind of quiet now? Can I come down pit road? It's looking a little bit quiet. All right. If we want anything from this race, it's going to have to be a two-tire call. All right. Thank you, Ward Burns. Slow them up. Okay. Can I can I enter this corner normally? Please? You. You. you oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. All right. All right. Uh, bucks, bucks, loose. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Bucks, bucks, bucks. Come down, come down, come down. 70 miles per hour. All right. Uh, no, no. Uh, 1.5. Okay. This is a really bad idea, isn't it? Yeah, this is a terrible idea, but hey, I'll try it. All right, guys, 10.5, 10.5. Come on, come on, come on. We need it. We should still come out on the lead. I, 
I think. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Come on. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right, 10.2. No, we're not. Uh, who's that? That's Dale Jarrett. Oh, that's Gordon. Okay. So those two get around. Where's Mark Martin? Jeff Gordon's going to win the championship if this holds. Where's... Wait, Mark Martin stayed out, didn't he? Yeah, he's the leader right now. Oh, he got... <gasps> that's a 500 IQ play. He got the five bonus points. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now, technically, it's, it's just whoever finishes in front. Uh, Mark Martin got the five points. So if he finishes in front of Gordon, he wins the championship. If Gordon finishes in front of Mark, he wins the championship. Oh, boy. Wow. What, how long is Mark Martin going to stay out? Will he take two tires? What is the situation? This is incredible scenes. Is he pitting? Mark Martin is... He is in pit road. Mark Martin is in pit road right now. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we are going to see the championship battle decided right here, right now, in front of our eyes. We have a front row seat as Dale Jr. gets around us. I literally don't even care about where we finish anymore. Dale Jr. is going to be leading the race, most likely. Here comes Mark Martin. He is in his... Is he in his pit stall? He is in his pit stall. Oh, my goodness. This is the most important pit stop of the Viagra Cruz career. They need the ultimate booster right now. Uh, wait there. Mm, wait. Mm, is he coming out pit road? No. Wait, did he get held up? Uh-oh. Well, no, Jeremy Mayfield's the leader on pit road. Okay, so where's Mark Martin? Okay, there. Ooh, where's Mark? Is he coming out pit road? Ooh, I think Gordon's ahead. Oh, he didn't even come out pit road. Where is he? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It looks like Mark Martin with the pit strategy call. There he is coming out of pit road right now in the mirror. With the pit strategy call. He have, Oh, no. Not again. Not again. Gordon's gonna beat him again. Oh, no. I feel so bad. I didn't have any part to play in that. He kind of got around me pretty quickly, though. It was the strategy call. Gordon pitted very early. He came in with Stewart and all those other guys. Dale Jarrett short pitted the most. He's in the lead. Oh, the short pit was the call, and Mark went long. Oh, no. Meanwhile, our race is dead, by the way, guys. I don't even care. We're in 10th, but, yeah, this car doesn't turn, so whatever. Yeah, I am chalked. Oh, my God. There goes Mark. Mark, you're in P12. Gordon is in P2. Oh, no. Come on, Mark. The, the crowd's pulling for you. You want to see you win a championship, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Put a counter on how many times I've said, oh, no. Oh, no. This is this is painful. You just hate to see this. This is These are sad moments. Sad. You know, when, when one man... Is, is getting up there in age and he just wants to win a championship only for the third damn time the same driver to, to deny him and that driver wins his fifth championship yikes and that, that poor mark is just still going for his first <sighs> really hate to see it man what a hard fought championship battle white flag lap it's gonna be the end of season two oh, i would say it's a good season for us i think we're gonna stay in the top 10 in points i, yeah, I hope so you know two 20-ish place finishes and a 16th that should be good enough to keep us in the top or top 10 in points so we'll take that dale jarrett wins the race jeff gordon comes across the line he wins his fifth championship mark martin is heartbroken yet again qualified ahead of gordon ran ahead of gordon but the pit strategy call the pit strategy call to to, to leave him out there has cost mark martin a championship you just hate to see it uh, I might shed some tears. You really do. Wow. I mean, Gord Gordon's my driver, but man, that's 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 tough. We usually have that is tough. That. Oh, six million in the bank. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. All right, new season. We're gonna wait for a second. Let's check the standings. We finished tenth. Let's go check our stats, lads. What did we do in the year 2003? We had 28 poles. <laughs> I think that's a record. I think so. Eight wins on the season. 11 top five. 16 top tens. Average start of a 2.7. Yeah. Uh, average finish of a 14.9. And 10th in the standings. 10.5 million in earnings. Uh, we will definitely take that. Uh, I would say that's a successful season. Eight wins. But if we want to win the championship, we are 621 points back. Can we make up a 621 point gap? It's consistency. We got to win a few more races. And we got to minimize our poor races. And that's how we will win a championship. Uh, Ryan Newman comes in ninth. Kenseth in eighth. Ricky Rudd. Kevin Harvick. Dale and her Jr. Dale Jarrett in fourth. Tony Stewart in second. And Mark Marin with a 24-point gap finishes behind the 24 car. 
of Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon wins his fifth championship. There it is. They put a little championship logo on the side of the year, right? So he had only one pole in the season. He only had two wins, only two, but it was the consistency. 27 top tens with 15 top fives, an average finish of 8.8, .8, and that will most likely get you the championship. Mark Martin had four wins on the season with zero poles. He had 16 top fives. He had 26 top tens, but his average finish was 0.2 less. And that 0.2 is what hurts him. Yikes. Just big, I mean, you just think about it, one blown engine. If you don't have a blown engine, you win the championship. It's just, just bad scenes all the way around. Uh, let's check Dale Jarrett's stats. Uh, he had no poles in the season, five wins, 14 top fives, 23 top tens. Problem is his average finish was a little bit lower because we probably had played a factor in that. Dale and Hart Jr., again, no polls because we took every single poll. Four wins, uh, 19 top fives, 25 top tens, average finish of 11.8. <sighs> Mark, one day, one day, you know, one day you will look at that. 26 top tens, similar to 1998 and 1999 and 1997. 97 and 98, who won the championship? It was Jeff Gordon. He had not, seven wins that year. 2003, he has four wins, 26 top tens. Average finish of ninth in 2003. Didn't get the average finishes back then because they don't have it. But man, man, oh man. That's 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 painful, lads. This is probably one really long video, so I'm going to stop it there. We will start the new season in the next video. The Daytona 500, our biggest race end our biggest season. We'll be going for a championship. Or we're going to be going for the Daytona 500. We're going to figure out what we do with the crew. All that stuff will be done next video at the beginning. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your, uh, rest of your day. Stay prepared for my man, Mark Martin. Congratulations, Jeff Gordon, on his championship. Hopefully you enjoyed season two of the NASCAR Thunder career. And then season three, it very well could be the last. It depends on if we win the championship or not. So it might be the final season of NASCAR Thunder 2003. Uh, and hopefully that will start tomorrow the Daytona 500. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And peace out.